What's up, y'all? It's Maurice here, ready to do another live Bible study section. Live Bible study session for you on tonight. So, as you guys are joining me on tonight, if you happen to watch this video, please stop in. You're gonna want to listen to what the Lord is saying on tonight. You're gonna want to hear what God has for you on tonight. You're truly gonna be blessed. It's truly gonna be amazing. I know some of you guys are like, okay, this guy usually don't go live on Thursdays. What's going on? Well, God has charged me with um, with an assignment. And I want to fulfill that assignment in this earth, and I want to bring it to pass, and I'm not just wanting it, I'm going to bring it to pass. So as you guys are tuning in, um, like always, hit like, hit share. You guys are going to enjoy this treat for you on tonight. If you guys noticed, I have um, in the title, you'll, you'll, you'll see Building a Better You, and it's a project um, that I'm starting up, guys, we starting up. You'll get more details as time progresses, but I'm going to... Every now and then, I'm going to give you some freebies and some lessons that you can take away from building a better you. And building a better you was all about you taking those extra steps to overcome every single aspect in your life, whether it's your outlook on life, whether it's your relationships with family, whether it's your finances, whether it's your career path, all these things. I want to help you build a better you. I want to take everything that I know and sow it into your heart. That you will be blessed and you will, I talk a lot with my hands, sorry y'all, and that you will be blessed and that God will help you get to where you want to go. I believe I've gotten to where I am and I'm still growing and I'm still allowing God to work some things out on me. But um, nevertheless, God has been with me every step of the way. And if it wasn't for God, I would not know what I know. I would not be where I, where I am and I would not be doing what I'm doing. So building a better you um, is, is a... I want to say more of like a foundation It's a foundation building a better you. Um, and I'm calling it the, the baby project. Um, and you will get more details as time goes along, but God is really going to have this thing manifest in the earth. I'm really, um, fired up to see this thing through. It's going to be an amazing, uh, project. It's going to be an amazing movement just to see lives change. Um, I've already been going through the motions and just seeing the effects already. So I decided I'm going to kick it up a notch and just start sharing with you guys. So you guys become aware of how to build a better you, which is making you the best you you can be in this time. And all it takes is somebody in your corner encouraging you, somebody in your corner telling you that you can do it, somebody in your corner showing you the ropes. And nine times out of 10, the student surpasses the teacher and God has given me the spirit of a teacher. So on tonight, I wanna share, I want to, I want to um, invoke my teaching gifts onto you so that you can be the best you you can be in this earth. So if you're listening in, please like, please share. It takes two seconds. I truly appreciate the support, but not only am I here to bless you, but I'm here to bless your friends, your family. So please hit share and I'll really appreciate that. Tonight's lesson is about writing your vision and making it plain. Oftentimes I talk about building a better you. Oftentimes I talk about um, growth in oneself and one's approach to life. Um, and one thing I'll say time and time again, you heard it on my rides in, is that is that when you write things down, it, they come to pass. And I was talking with my wife earlier, and we were kind of talking about some things, and then the scripture uh, immediately dropped in my spirit, and I was like, "Babe, can you can you find that scripture for me? Please find a scripture for me. I don't know where it's at. I can't remember what context it was in, but it comes from Habakkuk, uh, chapter two, verses two and three. But I'm going to give you a little background story of, of Habakkuk. He's one of the minor prophets. Well, he was a, a great prophet of God, but he was in the book, The Minor Prophets in the Bible. Um, and he wrote in this book was his cry out to the gods before um, before his people, before his people got captured by the uh, Chaldeans. And basically the Chaldeans were an enemy of God's people. And he was the, the voice crying out for, for God to say, Lord, how can we overcome? How can we do this? Um, and it's a great read if you want to know about Habakkuk. I, I encourage you to read not only that, but the whole Bible. But the Lord was ministering to me on this particular scripture because he got to the point where um, first he was crying out to the Lord. And then he was like proclaiming, proclaiming everything that God was doing in the, in the lives of his people. And then it gets to this part where, where God gives him instruction to write down this vision so that it shall come to pass. Now it says, now Habakkuk says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and, um, and 
I'm sorry, I didn't even pray. So before I get into the scripture, I'm going to pray, Lord, bless this message. Let it encourage your people. Let the message just fall on ears that are willing to hear. God, we ask that you encourage us, uplift us spiritually, and let us eat of this fruitfulness that you've placed before us, God. We give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, starting at verse 1, it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. So Habakkuk took a stand and he was like, I want to have an answer. I am going to get in position to hear from God. So first, what we must do when we have a vision is we must first see God for the vision. Excuse me. Because what happens is God is always pouring out visions on this earth. God is creating. He's the creator and he's always creating. And he created us on this earth to create so that he didn't have to. Um, I heard one speaker say before that um, God was just dropping downloads on different things. And somebody missed it, but if somebody came and picked it up. And what, uh, for example, um, the idea of Facebook. Facebook is a multi-million dollar business right now. Now, what if... God gave you that insight, that vision for Facebook and you didn't follow through on it. And now you're looking back and you're seeing the manifestation of that. Um, I had one of the elders of my church minister to me the other day and he was and he was saying that um, back in the 80s, um, Harley Davidson's, they were scarce. They were scarce in, 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 uh, in parts. And so he wanted to um, renew the parts and bring them back to life and put them on, on display. And he met this one guy who um, wanted to open up a Harley Davidson museum. And so he told me a strategy about, I'm sending these to uh, to Taiwan and I'm gonna cleanse them up and I'm gonna frame them and, and, and put them out on, on display. And the guy took the idea, but, but the gentleman I was talking to, he, he stated that he didn't follow through with that idea. And so the guy that he shared his idea with it, followed through with it. And now that guy's a multi-million, multi-billionaire from the same idea that if he follows through with it, he'll be right alongside that guy as a business partner making millions of dollars. Um, and, and that was one of the examples he gave me that that when you are when God gives you a vision, you have to see it through. You have to let it manifest. You have to let it. You have to let it come to pass. So going forward, it says, "And the Lord answered me." And these are the instructions that are going to bless you for anything in your life. Because I guarantee you, you come up with thousands of ideas how to do something better, how to improve your life, how to improve your company, how to improve your career, how to improve your relationships, how to be a better you. You come up with a thousand thoughts a, a day. I said a year, but a day. You come up with thousands of thoughts a day. Many things cross past your mind. And you're like, oh, I should have wrote that down. But this says here, and the Lord answered me after he got in position, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it surely, it will surely come and it will not tarry. So I'm going to break the scripture down for you. First, he got in position to hear what the guy was saying. So I want to let you guys know right now, Always be on guard. Always be on ready. God is always shooting things down into this earth. And if you're in position, you're going to catch that million dollar idea. You're going to catch that breakthrough. You're going to catch that concept that's going to help save somebody's life. God is God just threw down an idea that, that's a cure for cancer. God just threw down an idea that's a cure for diabetes. All these different remedies. God just threw down another million dollar idea. If you were in position, you caught it. But it says write the vision down and make it plain. 10 out of 10 successful, wealthy people that I've read about, met, watched videos on, and listened to, all have one, all have the same thing in common. They all have the same thing in common. They write almost everything down. They write down their goals. They write down their daily plans. They write down their to-do list. They write down ideas that randomly come to their mind. They write down everything. They have books upon books. They have um, even 
even some of the most uh, profound ministers I listen to, and I and, and even my pastor and past pastors that I've served under, the the ones that have been most predominantly successful are those who have wrote wrote down their messages, who wrote down their vision. Those who have a plan have a way of execution because you're able to have a blueprint. But if you don't write it down, you won't get the full detail and it will not come to pass. I guarantee you it won't come to pass the way God ordained it if you don't write it down. So first, write your vision down, make it plain, write it as soon as it comes to mind, write it down no matter how crazy it is. Because it said, write it upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. So when you write it down, and I believe the scripture is talking about those who read it, I, I, I liken those two as supporters or investors. So if you have an idea and you and, and somebody reads it and they're like, that's amazing. I want to invest in it. I want to hop on that thing. If you have, a, like, for example, a business idea and you get it in the hands of the right people, somebody is going to take that. And as it says, uh, that readeth it, run, that, may, he, that he may run that readeth it, that he will... Go forth and carry that thing out. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. So just because you get the vision, it's for something that's going to happen a week from now, two years from now, five years from now, whatever it is, your purpose is to bring it to life. Whatever that vision is, that vision might take two to 10 years for it to be complete. But I'm going to tell you what happens when that vision is completed because you took the time to write it down. He said, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. So when you take time to pull down from heaven what God is saying and you write it down, you then bring purpose to it. You bring purpose to that thing that God has told you to write down. And after you've written it down and now that it has purpose, you are in position to create. Now you can say, okay, I have this great idea Here's the blueprint. Here's the plan. Show it to somebody. They're like, boom, I want to hop on this. This is an amazing thing. Let's carry it out. Let's do it. Let's go for the goal. Now you're carrying it out. Now you're going for the goal. Now that vision is starting to prep itself and starting to come to life. And when it's done, when that vision that you've written down has been vested in and has been carried out, once it is ready, there is nothing that can stop that vision. Because God gave it to you anyway. So once it's manifested, once it's ready, there's nothing that will slow down, that will stop, that will hinder that vision from being successful. Why? Because it shall not lie. And then it gives another point to it. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry. What God was ministering to me with that is sometimes it might take a long time for it to come to pass. But do not worry. Wait on it. Be patient. Follow through. Care on that thing. Care on that vision. See that vision through. Because once you see it through, it is going to bless you. It is going to erupt. It is going to be amazing. You're not going to have to wait. Once the time comes, though the process, though it was a process of you waiting and fulfilling it, once it's fulfilled, you're not going to have to wait anymore. It is going to make a name for itself. You mold that thing, you work that thing out, you get the right people involved, you talk to the right people, you want to see that thing through, and once it's ready to hit the streets, once it's ready to go out, once it's ready for the people that it's for, you're it's going to be the most amazing thing that you ever did. And what's going to happen is God's going to give you another vision, and that cycle's going to happen again. You're going to prep for it. You're going to see it through. You're going to execute. You're going to get the right people involved. And then it's going to manifest in this earth because God gave you the vision. So I want to encourage you guys on today. If you have a plan for your life, I believe that everybody should have a plan for their life. I believe that everybody should know their destination. My destination is heaven. So while I'm here on this earth, my game plan is to figure out what all do I need to do before God says, well done, my good and faithful servant. So I take every opportunity to help somebody. I've actually been shifting my focus on not just building a brand, building a name, building a business, but actually having a heart. And I'll be honest, my, my mindset was not in the right place. I wanted to do things, but my heart wasn't genuine. I always liked, I always felt like 
um, helping people was a benefit. And that was my, my approach to business, that I would do some things and it would help people as a benefit. But helping people should be your purpose. Helping people has, has shifted from the benefit of the business to the purpose of my business. And I know that it, it sounds similar, but it's vastly different. And, and it's a hard thing and it's a mind thing. So my mind has shifted to put myself in position to do whatever it takes to help as many people as I can. Help as many people as I can get to Christ. Help as many people as I can be successful in any relationship that they're struggling with. Be helpful and help people in any in any endeavor in their life. Whatever it is, it it's good to hear from another person, especially if I know you personally. I can pull some things out of you that you didn't even know was there. And then you'll see yourself in a new light. You'll see yourself in a new way that you never thought was possible. And even for a stranger, even that stranger out there that's watching this video, that's listening to what I have to say, you can also be in that same predicament, that same situation where hearing from somebody else. Listen to other people is how I got to where I am today. I take I take everything with a grain of salt. I take it to God and then I, okay, God, what's the best strategy for me? How should I go to the next level? What should I do next? And every little bit has got me a step further to now where I'm just running for it. So right now I'm sold out. I got everything I need from the Lord and Lord is pouring me out. He says, now son, go out and do. So my commission is to help as many people as I can through all God, everything, through building a better you, through everything that God has given me to give back to you. I truly believe that God is in this and I truly believe that God wants to see you be the best you you can be. And I'm here to help you. So if you want more information on this video, if you want for more information about what we're doing, definitely check out allgoteverything.com. You'll get all the details there. Send a message, check out my inbox. You'll get great things there as well. Also, you can catch this video again on YouTube um, if you want to get some more lessons on how to build a better you, how to be a better person, how to be a better you. Write the vision, make it plain. Write the vision, make it plain. And watch what God does in your life. Thank you guys. And as always, be encouraged, be blessed, be inspired. Thank you. God bless.